disagree. They say that they do have the right man in custody, but they admit while searching for a suspect, they mistakenly released a picture of someone who had no connection to the crime. I'm um, shocked. So, just not his nature. Cornell Morrison can't believe his brother, 32 year old Jamid Morrison, is charged with attempted murder, armed robbery, and assault. For the life of me, I, I just do not know why. Baltimore City Police arrested Jamid Morrison Thursday on a warrant accusing him of shooting a 32 year old man who was operating as a hack or unlicensed cab driver back in July. Police found the victim shot multiple times at the O'Donnell Heights housing community at Shipview Way in East Baltimore. Morrison's family doesn't believe it. If it was someone guilty of maybe hanging out at a bar too late, that would be my brother. But definitely not a violent crime. But as police sought evidence, they questioned family members about a phone call they believed someone made to the victim. It was a phone call made um, to a hack to Green Mountain 25th, and somebody was robbed. Police spokesman T.J. Smith says the arrest is based on evidence in the case. The victim claims while working as a hack, he picked up someone at Green Mountain North Avenues in East Baltimore. And then in the area of Cardiff Avenue and El Reno Street, the man pulled out a gun, attacked, and then shot the victim multiple times. Cornell Morrison says he's blindsided by his younger brother's arrest. He says Jamid is easygoing, a man who served in the Army, saw duty in Kuwait, and is now working as a security guard. Another major concern for Jamid's family, how police released a picture of a possible suspect in September. It was captured from surveillance video. The image looks nothing like Jamid. The right person's in custody. The image that had been placed out before was not the right person. That was a mistake? Right, right. The image that was placed out, based on the physical description of the suspect that we got, the time and all that we got from the victim at the time of this incident, it pointed to this person being a potential suspect, certainly a person of interest in the crime. As the investigation went on, we found out that somebody else was the actual suspect in this. Now, we did ask police when they determined the original image they released was of the wrong suspect. They told us that happened on Thursday when they arrested Morrison. Reporting live from downtown Baltimore, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV, 11 News. Barry